or Kentucky Lake, baby, and this is where big fish are caught. We're here trying to catch one big fish and put us up there in school of the year points. You know, I'm excited. Uh, two days full of big fish, big fun, and I'm ready to get out there. The Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. It's the first stop of the new season on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and close to 600 of College Fishing's best anglers representing the top teams in the nation have traveled to Henry County and Paris, Tennessee to compete on Kentucky Lake. I might have one. Ooh. That's a small one. <laughs> small one. The name of the game this weekend is Big Bass, as anglers are going out in search of that one big bite that will help them earn a share of the more than $30,000 in prizes and contingencies up for grabs, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. 532 Tomas from McKendree University. This one goes 530 New Leader. Session four presented by Garmin. We've now got three, four fish over five pounds this hour. Locks in at 631. New overall leader the entire tournament. Who can find a Kentucky Lake Giant to bring to the scales and stake claim to the day one lead? Find out next. Give me the boat, son. Woo! How about that one? That's our new leaders right there. Big University of Montevallo, 2496. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. Welcome in to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. The first stop of the new season takes us to Kentucky Lake in Henry County in Paris, Tennessee for the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Close to 600 anglers will be on hand to compete in this two-day Big Bass format event, making it the largest field in the history of this tournament. I think this fall is probably going to be the, the biggest weight total in terms of numbers and three, four, or five pounders that we'll see in any fall Big Bass Bash year. Kentucky Lake, it's a fun lake. Uh, I love it because you can go and catch big largemouth, you can get big smallmouth. I mean, you can catch them shallow, you can catch them deep. It's just a really fun time here. This no entry fee, nationally televised event is being contested during the fall of the year on Kentucky Lake. This Tennessee River fishery offers a vast playing field where bass will be set up from shallow to deep, keying in on everything from finesse tactics to large topwater baits. Kentucky Lake right now, so a bunch of big smallmouth and moving offshore. If you see, there's been a lot of four, five, uh, and even a six pounder is caught here recently on topwater. So game plan, definitely gonna be big part on topwater. That's, it's been an all day thing for us. The, the Berkeley, Chapo has played big, big for us as well. And if not, if we miss them, we've been following up with a crankbait or jerkbait, and it's been happening. Here on day one of tournament competition, there will be a total of four weigh-in sessions, with each session paying out the top 10 biggest bass. Over the course of two days, there will be seven weigh-in sessions, awarding more than $30,000 in prizes and contingencies. Along with the valuable prizes, schools will be able to earn double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. This is a look at the top 10 ranked schools in college fishing's only all-encompassing national ranking system entering the first ACA double points event of the year. Emmanuel University enters the tournament ranked number one. 17 of the top 25 ranked schools are on hand to compete at Kentucky Lake this weekend providing an opportunity for teams to make some major moves in the standings. We're currently number one. Feels absolutely amazing for our team. We've worked really hard to get here. We're just trying to stay consistent and hopefully round us up a big one this week to get us a bunch of points. We're sitting in third in school of the year. You know, we jumped all the way up from 140th, you know, four years ago to then 25th and 20th. And last year we finished 15th. So uh, I have really high expectations for this team. We've reached our first break in the show. Coming up next, we'll go out onto Kentucky Lake for on-the-water coverage from day one of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Don't go away. Who knows? It's a bass. Smiley.
Welcome back out to Kentucky Lake in day one of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. We start our on the water coverage with the number one ranked team in the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, Emmanuel University. There he is. There we go. There we go. Oh. That'll weigh. Yeah, I believe she will. Pulled up here yesterday and I caught two pretty quick on the jerk cad. You're just hoping we can't replicate that. Throwing that me, I don't know. That's a good one. It's not bad. Throwing the net. Or not. That's long. He's long. He's skinny, but he's long. Ah. The Mac, that Mac scent. Instantly changed. He put the Mac scent on. If, if we can just all three weigh fish today just to solidify getting points. Yeah. We're going big. We're going big tomorrow. Big baits. Probably going to look bass. large mouth. It's going to be one on a large mouth probably. Number one ranked Emmanuel University is off to a great start here early on. With a large number of the top ranked teams competing at Kentucky Lake this weekend, the team from Georgia knows they will have to place several fish high up in the standings to maintain their lead. There's a bunch of good teams and uh, there's a lot of people here, a lot of tournaments, a lot of ones in the top 10 uh, are here. So just try to weigh something in to get us some points and help uh, if we help keep the gap as big as we can. That's a better one. Wow. Anglers are getting a lot of bites this morning, and many of them are returning back to Paris Landing State Park to weigh in for session one presented by Evolution Fishing. All right, Anglers 369 is the mark to beat, 186, the bottom weight in this session. This fish right here is gonna make number nine, Austin from UNA. New leader of the session right there, pull it out, hold it up for Kevin, 443, that fish goes. 443, UNA. Austin Thomas from 19th ranked University of North Alabama weighs in a smallmouth bass for 4.43 pounds to win day one session one presented by Evolution Fishing. For the session victory, Austin receives a $300 Bass Pro Shops gift card, Evolution Fishing tackle backpack, and an Abu Garcia Veritas casting rod. 17th ranked Bethel University starts the day off strong by placing three anglers in the top 10. The first hour we weighed in at nine and we had a spot that was pretty close to takeoff that we were pretty confident we weren't gonna catch a big one off, them, off of it, but um, at least wanted to just go in and weigh in real quick, not banking on like other people really getting on their fish or weighing fish in, but they caught them this morning, they really did. An added element to the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley is strategy. Day one consists of four weigh-in sessions, each one presented by a different sponsor with a wide array of valuable prizes up for grabs. Does an angler want to win a certain prize? Maybe they decide to fish close to takeoff and come in for all four sessions, or they could choose to run a long ways to find the winning bite and weigh in once for the entire weekend. Our plan is if we can catch you know, a, a good three or four pounder, we're going to go ahead and take it in because I, I think that'll do pretty good in an hour we, uh, you know, weigh in. Not, you know, the bit, the last one's probably going to be the most, the most crowded as far as, you know, uh, people coming and bringing in fish because the prizes are the most. But, you know, we're, we're really here just trying to get points. As the tournament day progresses, more and more anglers are bringing fish to the scales. Let's find out who will win session two, presented by Bahio Sunglasses. 377, the mark to beat. Anglers 254, that bottom number. Kyle Noel, Auburn University, bag it all in there. That's a good one, too. 377 is so I need to take the lead. Are you going to do it? Uh, it's going to be close. Close. It's 462, new leader, session two, presented by Bahio Sunglasses. Take that one out from Auburn University. We've got Kyle Knoll standing right there behind that. I'll hold the bag for you and hold that fish up for Kevin. Kyle Knoll from 14th ranked Auburn University wins the session with 4.62 pounds. The session victory earns Kyle a pair of Bahio sunglasses, a Bahio prize package, as well as a $300 Bass Pro Shops gift card. Five of the 10 prize earning fish for this session 
We're from anglers on teams ranked in the top 25 for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, positioning them for a shot at earning valuable points. It's time now for our second break in the show. On the other side, we'll bring you coverage from Weigh In for Session 3 presented by Bass Pro Shops. Stay tuned for more. We got to go 370 to take the lead. You're going to do it. Yeah, I was hoping it would. Okay. New overall leader of the entire tournament, 532 Tomas from McKendry University. Welcome back to day one coverage of the Bass Pro Shops and Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley on Kentucky Lake. Tomas from fourth ranked McKendry University just weighed in that fish for 5.32 pounds to take the lead in session three presented by Bass Pro Shops. We're fishing a bunch of this area with multiple brush piles in the area. Uh, my buddies I had, we're all trying to catch them on the live scope and stuff. That wasn't working, so I just picked up a crankbait and started blind casting and lucked into that 532. Seeing some better fish here this hour. So right now, last session we had several over four. We've got the first one over five, Tomas from McKendry's overall lead with 532. Harlan from Murray State's gonna come up, possibly get us another one over four pounds. We'll see what it goes and we'll talk to him a little bit bagging all in there for us. Is it going to go over four? I think it'll go over four. 540, new leader of the whole tournament right there. Pull it out. Harlan, Murray State, stand behind the scale. Hold it up for Kevin. New leader right here. Stay right here, bud. You're good. 540, new big bass of the tournament, leading session three, presented by Bass Pro Shops. Put it in the bag. We'll get some water on it for you, and I'm going to talk to you, so stay right here. Barely. So what, 532 was what was leading? You just got them by eight one hundredths. If my math's right, I'm not great at math, but it's pretty close. Tell me about it. Got that fish in the boat. Was it chaos when it all happened? Yeah, you know, I don't fish down here much. Probably two times in my life, so I've just been running new water all day. And I just now found fish for the first time of the day. Caught one and then caught that one back to back and headed in. So hopefully tomorrow I can get a bigger one and we'll see what happens. Dylan from Carson Newman. Looked like a pretty good fish there moving around down there. 540's in first, 370's the bottom of the session. How big do you think it's going to go, man? Uh, something over four. Something over four. Let's go over five. Locks in at 540. Tie for first place in this session. Overall big bass of the tournament as well. Hold it up right there. We'll get our picture made. Stay right here behind the stage, man. I'll take the bag from you. Dylan, Carson Newman, top 25 ranked Carson Newman. We'll get some fish, some water on that fish, and I will talk to you here real quick. 540, he's got you tied for first, man. Tell me about a good bass right there. Yeah, I mean, it's been a struggle today. We caught a bunch of shorts and a bunch of two-pounders, and then we've had a couple of key bites we've missed, and uh, finally we just stuck one of the right ones. What are you going to do the rest of the day? you got about two and a half, not quite three hours left to go. Going to get out there and try and find you another big one. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be doing the same thing we've been doing all week, just flipping shallow and hope we can stick another big one. All right, Dylan, you're good, man. From UNA, one of your teammates won the first session of the day, so y'all are off to a good start this weekend. Let's see what we got here, bud. Needs to go 382 to jump you up in. Forget that. Let's just go ahead and take the lead of the whole tournament. 550, pull it out, hold it up for Kevin right there, new leader of the tournament from the University of North Alabama. Dylan Nutt, stay right here behind the scales and hold it up right there. Good job, man. Give him a round of applause. That's your new leader of the whole event. We've now got through four fish over five pounds this hour. It was a big one. It hit pretty close to the boat, and uh, it was a pretty quick fight. Just got it right into the net. So luckily he didn't put up too much of a fight, and he didn't try to spit my hooks or anything. Um, I mean, we've been getting one or two good quality bites a day, so we figured we were around them, but we didn't know if we could catch any. <laughs> And catch one he did is Dylan Nutt from 19th ranked UNA, win session three presented by Bass Pro Shops with 5.50 pounds. For the session victory, Dylan earns a $1,000 Bass Pro Shops gift card. This makes for the second out of three sessions that UNA has won so far here on day one. 11th ranked Carson Newman and 4th ranked McKendry University both place multiple anglers in the top 10 for this particular session. Coming up next on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we take a closer look at the host site for this weekend's event, Henry County and Paris, Tennessee. Keep it tuned right here for more. All 
I'm real excited to start this season and uh, hopefully it, we uh, catch some more fish today and some bigger ones too uh, and keep it going. The Bass Pro Shop's Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley is the first stop of the season for the Association of Collegiate Anglers on the Bass Pro Shop's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Close to 600 of college fishing's top anglers have made the trip to Henry County in Paris, Tennessee this weekend. Probably the largest fishing tournament the Henry County Tourism Authority has ever sponsored as far as number of participants. Uh, I think we've got 60 to 80 colleges and universities represented over the South. Uh, and of course, the Henry County Tourism Authority is so glad to have them in, in beautiful Paris Landing and, and Paris and Henry County. And we're just excited about the turnout. Henry County in Paris, Tennessee is a location the ACA has been working with for many years to bring major college fishing events to Kentucky Lake. The area offers great fishing, restaurants, and activities that allow you to take in all of the wonderful sights and sounds of the great outdoors. Henry County is a premier destination in Northwest Tennessee for tourism. Uh, we have about 35,000 residents. The county seat is Paris, Tennessee with a little over 10,000. Outdoors is huge. I've been here all my life. Bass fishing, cat fishing, and we're home of the world's biggest fish fry. The next time you're looking for a weekend getaway or trip in the great outdoors, check out Henry County in Paris, Tennessee on the shores of Kentucky Lake. Back out on the water, anglers are looking for a big bite to bring back to Paris Landing State Park and weigh in for a shot at valuable points and prizes. We check in now on Jack Stevens and Lane Stevens from fourth ranked McKendree University. It's like an underwater road bed and then there's a bridge right over here. These old boys are pan fishing right up off of it. But uh, there's right now, right in front of us, we're casting to a series of five or six brush piles right on the drop of the uh, side of the road, but it's all like riprap rock and broken up chunk rock on the top and it drops down and there's um, brush piles right before it turns into soft bottom. I might have one. I think he's little. He's not bad. What's a smallie? <laughs> Oh, come here, buddy. Phew, a small mouth on the ten inch worm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the ten inch worm. <laughs> From these two McKendry University anglers, we jump on over to their teammates, Grant Olson and Evan Sutton. Yeah, this is a big tournament. McKendry usually finishes well in this. Hopefully, we we got I think 24 guys here. Just need two good fish. Get us some good points for school of the year. Hopefully we can get up to first or second. Good one. Uh, huh? Two and a half. Not very big. Yeah. Got a bunch of fall on it. Hey, it's River Eubanks, University of Montevallo. Just got done with day one here at the Big Bass Bash on Kentucky Lake. It was a pretty good day, uh, pretty good quality of bites. Um, we got a couple fish we're about to weigh in in the last session, so hopefully we win a few prizes. The final session of the day is session four, presented by Garmin. The last session of each day usually sees a lot of fish weighed in, along with some really quality ones as well. All right, Harlan, come up, man. I've already seen you bring one good one in today. Bring in another good one. 580 to take over first place, 367 to get inside the top 10 here. This one's gonna get you inside the top 10 for sure. Locks in at 631, new overall leader the entire tournament. Pull that one out right there, man. Let's get a picture, round of applause. Harlan from Murray State with 631. Great looking fish right there. I wanna say last fall we had a seven and a bunch of fives, but not a six. Put that in the bag. We'll pass it off right here and I'm gonna talk to you. Stay right there, just a second. Lee in the tournament, man, you've had two big ones today. What's the secret sauce? Well, I came out here, didn't really know what to do, and at about 11 o'clock I found them on some like ledge stuff with some brush around it, and I'm just fishing real slow, just trying to get one big bite at a time, so. Harlan Thomas from ninth ranked Murray State University wins day one session four presented by Garmin with 6.31 pounds. That bass also takes the overall lead for the entire event, the session victory pays out a $1,500 Garmin credit 
in a $200 Bass Pro Shops gift card. Murray State places four anglers in the top 10 for this session, claiming first, second, sixth, and 10th. And that will conclude day one coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. On the next episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we'll bring you day two coverage from Kentucky Lake in Henry County and Paris, Tennessee. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. This has been a CareCo TV production.